Hey guys, this is Benji at KingdomCustoms.com. Today I'm going to do a little breakdown on the PS5 controller. Now I do have this one that's already taken apart. However, I am going to disassemble one for you guys. But just to show you what it looks like disassembled, we will get into that more here in a minute. And on to this one. Uh, this I just got done with for a customer getting ready to send out, of course. He did buy a PS5 controller, which is the one we are getting ready to unbox here. So this is how they come in, brand new in the package. Get it open here. I already cut the seal just so I didn't have to. We'll try to get all this uh, on camera, this disassembly. You know, as a problem in the past, people said it wasn't all on camera. So excuse the long video, but uh, anyhow, when I did get into this controller, the first thing I noticed is it is a heavy controller. Um, it is pretty much the size of an Xbox One controller, even though it is a PlayStation. I know I'm going to get some hate for saying that, but anyhow, let's get right in. First off, uh, we got your Phillips double zero for the screws. Everybody complains when you don't give them the right size. So it is a Phillips double zero for the screws. Then I got a handy dandy pair of tweezers. Just a little pry bar if needed, probably won't. Now the one thing that I found out works best is just a regular small flat head screwdriver. Now the reason for this is once you get this, you notice there are absolutely zero screws in this that you see. So you gotta get in here. This seems a little difficult, but you actually get in here and get right under this piece. Uh, so once you get under there, it just pops. So then you gotta do that to both sides. Like I said, excuse the long video, but we're gonna get detailed on this for you guys. This one is kind of a little bigger compared to the last one I did. Um, there it goes. You just gotta get that right spot. So there we go. We popped off both sides. So then once you get this, there is some retention clips right here. So once you pry that open just a little bit, you will see them. Um, get right in there and just pop them in with that flat-headed screwdriver again. A lot of flat-headed screwdriver on this. Uh, Got to be careful, you will scratch it up. However, I am going to be painting this, so for me, that's not a problem. And once you get this, you can just pop it off but there are two little pieces here that go underneath the trackpad so you definitely don't want to break that so you don't want to pry up and snap those off so anyhow that is this piece here then we'll get on to the rest of it now uh, from here there are two screws one here one here those are the double zero however I'm going to show you where the next two are first they're going to be underneath the bumpers so Flip it over the back side, and you're going to actually hold the trigger down and just pry open on that bumper. Feels like you're going to break it. Trust me, you're not. I'm going to bring in this little cup here to put all the parts. You don't want to lose anything. Definitely don't want to lose any screws once you start taking those out. Then you're going to see there are two more screws here and here. Again, double zero. So we'll hurry and fly through this and get these out of here for you. And this is why I like tweezers, just because I have big hands. So you just get in there and sometimes a magnetic screwdriver will hit them. Sometimes it won't. Just depends on, um, I don't know that this double zero is magnetic tip or not. Um, I don't ever rely on it. It's a good thing about working on like a white surface or a solid surface. If you do drop them, you can find them. Now prying this apart is a lot like the PS4. So if you took it apart, you're going to be actually pretty golden on this. But there are some retention clips here and here. So those, what I found easiest is to go ahead and just loosen those from the start. Actually, maybe I did this before. So just grab a hold here and just pry up just a little. Both sides and go in here and then pop 
pop up. Feels like you're gonna break it, trust me. Um, if you break it, it's just a clip that you try not to. So I popped them both, you can see there they're loose. Now from here, there are some retention clips in the side like there were before. However, I just pried it off, comes right off. So it's not difficult at all. So that is the back of the shell. So we're gonna throw that to the side as well. Now once we get in here, you get in here to your, you got this left. Got lots of stuff going on here. Um, we're gonna pop the battery off first. Um, a lot of guys will say to use some like needle nose pliers. I just personally wiggle them right off. Never had an issue with that. Throw the battery aside. It is a much bigger battery than in the PS4. Um, there is a screw here. So we're gonna remove that one first. Let's see, it is removed. Then you're gonna come down here and there's actually a ribbon here. This is for the microphone in the speaker in the controller. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that out. Again, some people use needle nose, I just pry them out. So that is the speaker, put it in your basket. This can just pop off now, the battery crate, cradle. You got a ribbon here, 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 and then the trackpad here. I removed them all. That is totally up to you. Again, I like to wiggle them. I feel like it's easier on the ribbons. Um, you get using tools in there and I feel like you break the ribbons, but everybody has their own what works for them. This one is kind of a pain without anything. You just have to, it took me a little bit because of course I shake like no other. I'm gonna pull that away from the camera for just a minute, just to pry it off there. There we go. Trying to do everything on camera for you guys. Um, now there is a screw here, a screw here. So we'll remove those. Again, your double zero. Everything on this controller is a double zero. That's a double zero Phillips for those that don't understand. Don't know what a Phillips is, you probably shouldn't be taking this apart to begin with. Okay. Again, into your handy dandy container. Now, we're almost there. So we're going to have to remember how I did this here. So I kind of pushed on the analog stick there just to remove that. Feels like you're going to break it. I haven't broke one yet. There it goes. Now, there's a screw here and a screw here. These are for the trackpad area. There is a lot of screws in this, um, so it is a little difficult to get undone. However, it'll work out. These are a little longer silver screws, but again, the double zero. And this here, now will just pop right off. Um, we are almost there. So this piece here now is all apart. This is your main motherboard. Almost looks like the PS4 a little bit. Has your triggers here. Um, those are very interesting, your rumble packs. So again, the ribbons to make everything work. So I'm gonna throw that to the side as well. Now onto this of course, these are the same, remove it. The PlayStation one down here. There is also this little piece here just fell off that is your light. Just prize right out of there. I personally left this ribbon alone the last time. I'm gonna paint this. Um, it does come back here to like a speaker 
If anybody does that, you can mask over it. All this will be hidden anyhow. So for those do-it-yourselfers, of course, your PlayStation button. Now, uh, interesting thing I noticed, all these buttons look very similar to the regular ones. Um, and I actually have a set of bullet buttons. Now, I'm going to try them in here and see if it works or not. There's no guarantees there. But we'll see. So I'll let you guys know. Maybe you'll see it in my next video. On this, the trackpad here, I don't know that you need to remove these. However, I did on the last one, so I'm going to again. Um, it's two simple screws to take out for the trackpad. A lot of these screws are the same size. That's why I just throw them in a container. You know, some guys might label them. It's probably the right way to do it, the smarter way to do it. There's your trackpad. Throw it to the side. Now, here's this piece. Again, part of the trackpad. Now, you're pretty much apart. However, you still see this clear piece. This piece here is actually a light. It shows the blue light on the controller when it's powered on. That actually, for those painters, again, this will pop out of here. And uh, it's going to be important if you're painting because, I mean, unless you're masking it off, you don't want to... I don't know. You don't want it in the way. You don't want it covered. So it just kind of pries down and out. No clips really to it. Just had those two screws from earlier. So anyhow, that is your disassembly of the PS5 controller. Any questions, definitely hit me up in the comments. I'll let you guys know. Uh, any suggestions for me, let me know. Sorry about the wrinkled mat. I don't do this on a mat usually. It's just better than a black finish for you guys. So hopefully this video turned out well. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you uh, order controllers from condemncustoms.com. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Leave all that information down below in the description. So, but thank you all for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.